If you work with equipment from DJI Pro, and I mean all of them, and if you are wondering what is the best and most professional way to control your camera remotely, then this is the video for you. Stop that. Now, just to be clear, I know quite a bit about this because most of my work as a camera operator is actually wireless remote control and in the last few years I've done it in almost every possible way, so today I'd like to show you the latest and the most professional option so far. Now, just to be clear, this is not any form of paid review and also keep in mind that I will never show you anything that I would not buy myself and the only people who have any impact to my opinion are only my team. Now, the new control panel is the result of a second collaboration between Ignite Digi and Signal Audio and it is the first such universal control panel based on DJI transmission technology built by a third-party company. Now, to make it easy for you to understand, the control desk is not a standalone device that you can pair with any gimbal or drone, but you need a DJI transmission with a high bright monitor option. In other words, it's just an extremely advanced version of the standard control grips from DJI. So if it works on the base of DJI transmission, it works with Ronin 4D, Inspire 3, Ronin RS3 Pro and RS4 Pro and of course the workhorse from DJI, the Ronin 2, which is still one of the best stabilized remote camera head in the world. Of course, all of these devices have their own dedicated wireless control option as well as several additional ones, but like in almost any field of technology, there is always room for even better and even more professional solutions. Now, if you look at the behind the scenes video of different major productions, you will notice that whenever the camera is used remotely, the operator always has a very professional control panel. Something that makes them unique is a large, extremely precise joystick, two-handed operation, focus knob, as well as a rocker for zoom control, and the most importantly, quick access to some of the most important options, such as speed, deadband, and smoothness, which is extremely important in situations where the dynamics of the shots change very quickly. So far, the most advanced and professional remote controller for DJI equipment is DJI Master Wheels, which is a combination of outstanding technology with the traditional way to perfect camera movements, but you only control camera movement with this device and you need both hands to do it. That's why, for my personal projects, the control desk looks a bit more versatile. In the description below you will find a link to a video made by Tom from Ignite Digi and there you will find basically all the technical information that you need, so I won't repeat it again, but I'd like to focus on a few of the most important things for me. You can buy the control desk as a basic kit or as a complete kit, which is basically a ready-to-shoot package. At this point, I must mention that it's clear that this equipment is designed by people who work on sets because the overall design is extremely clever and the setup saves you a lot of time because you don't have to take anything after shooting. All you have to do is move the monitor to the left side, you close it without worrying about hitting the screen with the knobs because it has a special lock there, you put everything together in the case and that's it. In the kit, you get of course all the necessary things such as a cables, AC adapters, mega clamp and two spigots so you can mount it to anything you want and also a spigot foot so you can put the control desk on a table. Now, there are four battery power options to choose from and an AC adapter. And, which is fantastic from a single battery, you can even power a hybrid monitor so you don't have to carry another type of battery. All the buttons and dials are very well labeled the menu is extremely easy, so basically you can figure it out even without a tutorial. There is a zoom rocker that works even with zoom lens on the Ronin 4D. I don't have such a lens to demonstrate it to you, but Tom in his video shows this feature. The cool thing is that you can swap the functions of the rocker and the twist dial on the joystick and then use the rocker to control the roll axis and use the twist dial on the joystick to control zoom. Next we have of course the large focus wheel, smaller iris dial and record button. Next is the very important in my opinion master ray dial by which you set the output speed of all axes or in other words simply the overall speed of the joystick. And in the central smaller control dials you can set both tilt and pan speeds separately while the roll axis speed you will find in the menu because on the third dial you have the roll axis trim. And on the right side you will find the extremely precise phenomenal 
APM joystick. Now, a very important feature is the dual function of some of the buttons and control dials. For example, to recenter the roll axis, you simply click on the button on the main joystick, but if you press and hold it for a while, you invert the direction of that axis, which is very useful if you have a second operator who prefers the opposite direction. What's more, pressing the tilt and pan speed dials also allows you to recenter this single axis, and if you want to recenter all of them at the same time, you have a dedicated button, which in addition to a long press changes the gimbal modes. Another one is auto and manual focus mode, and with a long press you enter into the menu, with the next button you can enable waveforms, zebra or false color, while with a long press you activate focus picking, and with the last one in this group you put the focus markers, and with a long press you can reset those markers. As I said, you have everything very well labeled in a very clear way. The next dial that is definitely worth mentioning is Shake Camera, an effect that we know from the most advanced remote camera head in the world, from now on also available for DJI equipment. Yes, I know that the Shake Camera effect can be easily added in post-production, but I feel that a real camera shake just looks much more realistic. Right next to the shake dial, you have two other extremely important for me quick access dials, that is deadband and smoothing. Now, as I said before, what I love about this device is not only the clever design, but also the placement of the buttons and dials, as well as the excellent balance between the settings that you have quick access to and the settings of, let's say, less priority that you will find in the menu. Ok, now since we know the basics of operation, it's time to see how it works. Now, I've had the pleasure of testing the control desk for 2 months now, because I really wanted to check it out in a few different scenarios and of course to learn about this equipment before I could recommend it to anyone. I have used it not only in studio conditions, but also on professional sets and sports competitions, including live events both with Ronin 4D in Inspire 3, but mostly with Ronin 2 because I've been using this gear for more than 6 years as a wireless remote camera head on my cable cam, so I think I have the most experience with this equipment when it comes to remote control. Now, the original remote wireless panel also has a great super precise joystick, record button and quick access to change the speed of movement, but after 2 years I switched to RC controller because I needed better range in certain situations and what's more I modified it and built a DIY control for focus and zoom using the same controller. So I have camera movement on the right joystick, zoom on the left and focus on the center dial. Now, just to be clear, the range of the original controller is phenomenal, but here I am talking about very specific and unique situations in my work, where for example in extremely large mass events the number of smartphones in one place was interfering with the control of the camera. Now, after switching to RC controller, the problem of interference still exists, which thankfully can be fixed with a signal booster, but another limitation was the small joystick by which making very precise movement required a lot of time and practice. Now, the limitations I'm talking about basically do not exist in the case of the new control desk, because the range of DJI transmission is much better and even with 50,000 people here there is no interference at all, and besides it has a great and extremely precise joystick and also has control not only of camera movement, but also over the FIS motors, but in a way not in full scale. Control Desk works perfectly in the option with Ronin 4D, where you have control over everything that is camera, zoom, focus and iris. In the option with Inspire 3 it works great with focus iris, obviously without zoom because we don't have zoom lens yet, but in configuration with Ronin 2, RS3 and RS4 Pro with LiDAR sensor and FIS motors, at this point it works only with focus motor. The good news is that I believe it is only a matter of time and I also know that we will probably get a zoom control on the rocker in the next update. I know that Tom and the whole Ignite Digi team are working hard to get this option as soon as possible. Of course, you can still control all three motors in this situation by using the DJI Pro hand unit, so all you need is your focus puller and that's it. Anyway, you know, there are situations, such as shooting cars, where I personally prefer to have only control over camera movement and zoom and focus is handled by either LiDAR or my first AC. But of course, there are also projects where I need to have focus and zoom under my fingers, so yes, I also can't wait to have this feature. Keep in mind that this is just an absolutely new device, so there is a lot of room for new features and improvements. But ok, let's move on. What is the feel of the controls itself? A phenomenal. For example, in live projects I usually use a great ENG zoom lenses which can have a very wide but also very narrow field of view. 
As a result, as an operator, you need to have an incredible joystick feeling because sometimes, on just one shot, you need to be extremely smooth and precise and after a while extremely fast in the dynamic part. Here you get two amazing tools for this, that is the master rate dial and the joystick expo choice. If you want to do it with just the joystick, you can choose the cubic mode, thanks to which you have both amazing smoothness of motion for slow shots, but also nice movement and acceleration in the upper range of the joystick for all kinds of fast shots. And on top of that, you can adjust your operating style in real time with the master rate and smoothing dials. Another example is car shots, where I also prefer zoom lenses because they give me more flexibility and helps me save a lot of time. I have my favorite Lao anamorphic zoom and my beloved DZO Tango zoom, which is in my opinion the best spherical lens for any kind of car shots. Now imagine that in the first part of the shot you want to capture a very precise detail and after a while you switch to a wide angle to capture some dynamic part. All you have to do is just change the master rate, which is the overall speed of the joystick in each axis. Now of course, if you are an operator with many years of experience, then such a shot even on small joysticks is not a problem for you, but if you are just a mid-range operator, then certainly this option will raise your skills and your shots very high. With the Inspire 3 you get exactly the same benefits, and even with the fact that you don't have zoom lenses here, you will notice this even more. First of all, because this is a drone that can be very high, where your camera movements have to be extremely slow and smooth, and after a few seconds you can be extremely low and shooting dynamic scenes for which you need fast movements. I think every Inspire 3 operator knows what I'm talking about when you suddenly find out your camera movement is not fast enough. Here's another interesting point because Tom mentions that Control Desk has unlocked full speeds in both Inspire 3 and Running 4D, so pan and tilt movements can be even faster than the original camera options. To be fair, I have not had a chance to use such fast movements yet, but it is certainly good to have a speed backup. Now, how to Control Desk compares to the RC Plus remote control? You know, I've never complained and in fact it is very comfortable, the display is bright, uh, you can even work in the rain, you have quick access to gimbal recenter and most importantly quick access to all camera options. The only downside is again the size of the joysticks. Now in the Inspire 3 Land video we saw that one of the best cinematographer in the world, Claudio Miranda, controlled the Inspire camera with master wheels, which are combination of the best technology with classic extremely precise camera control. And that's one of the biggest reasons why filmmakers choose this way of operating the camera, precision. Which is extremely difficult to achieve when you are operating small joysticks. Now, I know it's a matter of personal choice, but personally I'm not a fan of this way of shooting because you have to do it with two hands. In my opinion, with today's precision movements that DJI equipment gives us, we can achieve the same result with just one joystick and the benefit is that I can also control the zoom and other settings and I feel that this is my style and my best way to get the perfect shot. And more than that, I've noticed that having so much control over the camera and all the settings, I actually feel a bit like a real cinema cameraman. I have a big joystick, I have all the settings under my fingers, and what's more, after I play with it for a while and memorize what and where it is, then I don't even take my eyes off the frame and I can change settings or joystick speed and smoothness during the shot. The last but in a way the first is the Ronin 4D and in fact with this equipment everything started. DJI Transmission System O3 technology, DJI High Brain Monitor and wireless control of the camera and what's more in mirror mode all settings remotely. This is something that still impressed me. And basically the only thing that can be classified as a slight downside is the joystick on the left side, well and again the size of the joystick itself. Thankfully you don't need any special modifications to deal with this, all you need is an adapter from Tilta and a couple of rods to put the joystick on the right side and a simple pen cap to extend the joystick and basically for the simplest jobs that's all you need. On the other hand, as you probably noticed, Ronin 4D is getting into Hollywood these days, so in my opinion it is great that there are also new high-end accessories for this amazing piece of equipment. You have all the important settings under your fingers, incredible control of every aspect of the movement, smooth iris, zoom rocker and focus. On top of that, you have several configuration options, both when you are a solo operator and when you have your assistant. This is something amazing and something that once again shows how advanced the DJI ecosystem in combination with this equipment is. 
What's more, the Ronin 4D and Control Desk are a perfect match when it comes to the simplicity and comfort of use. Everything is a single unit, which in addition can be powered by a single battery. It's completely mobile, lightweight and incredibly comfortable and easy to use. What's more, it even has a power output where you can easily charge your phone, tablet or power the new DJI SDR transmitter so you can send the video signal to the client and the rest of the team. Brilliant solution. The last example is the RS Pro line of gimbals and here, as I said before, probably the most wireless control options. Here basically exactly as in the case of Ronin 2, that is phenomenal feeling and control over every precise camera movement and again, as with the Ronin 2, we are looking forward to the update that will allow us to fully control the FIS motors. Now, I suppose that we all agree that this equipment is phenomenal, extremely well designed and it is the missing link for the entire DJI Pro ecosystem. Now, like with any piece of equipment, the only doubt is always about the price. I leave this question to individual opinion of your wallet while keeping in mind that we are talking about equipment that is in my opinion a full member of the Pro line and it is fully compatible not with one but with five different types of camera equipment. Now if you compare this price with a similar equipment dedicated to specific remote heads the price doesn't seem high at all and what's more it is quite the opposite that is the cheapest and the same time the most versatile option. Besides we all know the rules of the economy and the industry. The more professional the equipment, the more expensive it is, while in my opinion, this price for such a universal tools that can do so many things is quite okay. I will give you a good example for this. Last week I was on a pretty crazy set where we had just 8 hours to take a lot of shots both from the ground and from the air. We used a Ronin 2 on a Tilta Hydra mini arm and Inspire in the air and for a few shots also a remote controlled Ronin 4D. All the shots were done using the DJI transmission and control desk and the switching between these units takes no more than a few seconds. Now, try to count how much it would cost me for a dedicated controller, even the cheapest possible for each of these devices and I can confidently say that in my case I can divide this amount between these three different devices. So if you are in a similar situation and if you are a user of DJI ecosystem, you have a Ronin 4D or Inspire 3 or maybe all of them together, then first of all you will be very happy with the control desk, I guarantee you that. And secondly, I think it is also a device that will serve you for many years because you can see that recently DJI cares about the compatibility of the DJI transmission with the entire Pro line so I believe that the next new product that will be released in the near future will also be compatible with the DJI transmission and also with the new control desk. Guys that's all for today I hope the video will be helpful as always thanks for so many comments and likes and see you in the next one.